Well, this boat is a 30-foot pro line. I've been working on this boat for three days. Today's the third day and I'm finally finished. And uh, it came up pretty nice. Actually, it gets done twice a year, so it, it's gonna look pretty good. It's, it's about eight years old, this boat. And uh, it's pretty big. It's almost as big as that dump truck that I did about a month ago. But you just take your time and uh, like I say, it's three days worth of work, so you gotta pace out, pace out your work, and uh, everything gets done, the, the plastic windows, all the fiberglass, all the bright work. Take a look around back here, the motors. It's got two, uh, first I'll show you the props down here, the stainless steel props get all polished and waxed. They're expensive. Believe me, they're very expensive. So they get all polished and waxed. And uh, the motors all get waxed. The, the motors are expensive. And uh, look at the interior. I'm not gonna really climb up in there right now, but it's pretty extensive. A lot of, a lot of polishing and waxing, a lot of nooks and crannies. And all the compartments all get washed and Actually, the wash the wash takes about three or four hours to uh, to do. Okay, I'm gonna just cruise down the side here, and you can see some of the gloss on this side. Like I say, this boat, the bottom part of it gets done once a year in the springtime, and uh, the upper part. I go down on the dock and uh, take care of it right at the dock so like all the upper fiberglass gets done twice a year, once in the spring and then once again in the summer. And you can see the gloss on there. I'm just going to swing out here, try to keep the camera steady. You can see how nice and shiny. And I, actually, I climb up on the roof and I polish and wax that radar unit up there. All the bright work gets done, all the chrome and stainless steel. You can see the gloss over here. That's about it. That's that's what three days worth of work looks at or looks like rather when you're uh, when you're all done. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. Now just one, one side note, I usually don't do too many boats of this size. Most of the boats I do are between 20 and 24 feet. So this gentleman here, I've been taking care of his boats for over 20 years. So uh, he's a special, you know, this is a special boat because uh, it gets done so often that it's not that difficult to do. but. Some of the other bigger boats that are older that haven't been cared for, they're a big challenge. So uh, I basically stay, like try to stay under 24, 25 feet, and I'm very selective about the types of boats. I'm, I'm really a, a maintenance uh, type person when it comes to detailing. I don't really do reconditioning if the boat's oxidized and hasn't been taken care of. I'd rather not tackle that because uh, it's just too labor-intensive and the price wouldn't really justify uh, you know the the owner of the boat wouldn't really be uh, up for spending that kind of money to take care of something that's hasn't really been taken care of in years but this boat is different it's been taken care of like I say twice a year and it's like a brand new boat even though it's eight years old all right so I hope you enjoy the video